<laughs> yeah. New Japan Grand Slam at the MetLife Dome, Saturday, September 4th, and the September 5th. And the good news is, Kotobushi is still advertised for the show, so apparently he has recovered, which is good news because he vanished for a while. And there were no updates, which, of course, I don't like when there's no updates. Sometimes no news is good news. Sometimes no news is bad news. So we have uh, Tanahashi Ibushi for the U.S. title on September 4th. And uh, this one's interesting because Dave seems to think there's a good chance Ibushi is going to win the title. And uh, Tanahashi just won this belt like two weeks ago. And Dave was pointing out, well, you know, fans in America would love to see Ibushi. He's absolutely right. But you know what? He doesn't need to be the champion to come to America. He could just come here. It's like, if they want to sell tickets with Ibushi's name, he can't just come here without being champion. But it would seem that Ibushi would beat Tanahashi, but it seems like he just won the title. Do we really want to put the, the title on Ibushi so quick? I guess we'll find out. Okada, Jeff Cobb, Chase Owens, Toru Yano, in an I Quit, No DQ match. Sho versus Yo, Robbie Eagles and Tiger Mask versus Hiromu, Tana, uh, Hiromu Tana, Takahashi and Bushi. And then on both shows, there will be a Stardom exhibition match. But Stardom is also running this weekend, so right now we don't even know who's going to be in the exhibition match. I guess whoever's available, unless they make an announcement. But there will be a pre-show Stardom match on both nights. As long as there's somebody from Donna Del Mondo, I'll be happy. Night two we have got for the IWGP World Heavyweight title, Shingo versus Evil. We have got Robbie Eagles versus Hiromu for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title. We have Taichi and Zack Sabre Jr. versus Goto and Yoshihashi versus Naito and Sonata. We have Taiji Ishimori and Phantasmo versus Desperado and Kanemuru for the uh, tag team titles, the junior tag titles. We have Okada and Ishii versus Jeff Cobb and the great Okan. One man doesn't fit. I don't care what you say, but he doesn't. And also the stardom exhibition match. You geek. Which is TBA. <laughs> he's not very good, Mike. Okada, he didn't. He's, really, he's passable. No, nobody. He's passable. That's fine. He's passable. Dude. He fits in with the gimmick he has with the two guys who are in that group. He is number three in that group, and he is fine as the the meathead muscle of backing up uh, Cobb and, and Osprey. But Tanahashi Ibushi, I you know Ibushi, if he comes to the states, everybody's going to want to see him with Omega immediately. So I don't. To me, that's that's. He's been hurt. He's been out. Let Tanahashi get the victory there. Okay, uh, Mike, I, I know you can't. I guarantee you can't hear the music because I can barely hear it. I can but I hear can it. barely hear the music. Back okay. in a moment, Observer Live. We have one more. Oh, we do? Yeah. This is from uh, TL. There's nothing scary about you, chap, no matter how dangerous of a technician. You look more like a male anesthetician, cocking your chest out with that definition. No, I don't mean Zack Saber, supporter of labor. He's one of the best. I'm talking about that man with no heart, Brian Alvarez, the real chicken chest. I'm disgusted. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.